the battle net launcher might have already told you, but Hearthstone is now playable. Uh, yeah, this is the Hearthstone Report, MJJ, and uh, these are the nerfs. And oh boy, they were needed. So, we're starting off with Deck of Lunacy, costing now 4 mana rather than previously 2. So as to not have the early game impact, now people have said that Spellmage is pretty good, even without Lunacy, so there is a chance that the deck will just cut the card, which is actually a kind of an interesting idea. Um, Sword of the Fallen, really big impact in the two strongest decks of the meta, now only having two durability rather than three, thereby only being able to pull out two secrets rather than three. Uh, so Secret Paladin and Libram Secret Paladin are very impacted by that. I've heard ideas that maybe Libra and Paladins won't even run secrets anymore, and it will just be the aggro uh, secret paladin, in which case that's interesting. Um, and the Libra Paladin will just be regular Libra Paladin, which is plausible. Um, we got Janice Baroff, now costing six mana, not a huge change. Um, mostly impacting Rogue. Uh, which we'll see more of. Uh, Penflinger, also some amount of playability by Rogue, actually. Uh, so yeah, the, the Janus Power of Change is not a huge change, and the reasoning is actually very interesting. They say that because they now have a better pool of 5 drops, they find it worthwhile to do this, and they don't want to nerf her by just making more shitty 5 drops, which I find uh, really cool. Uh, similar ideas would, of course, apply to Evolve strategies, so they just made the pool a bit better in standard, and Penslinger now can only target minions. Uh, this is a change that people have been asking for, and makes Penslinger a lot less versatile, makes him a lot less, uh, gives him a lot less aggressive potential. So uh, that is really nice. Again, affecting the Paladins, to some degree the Rogues. What's really affecting the Rogues though, is the Far Watch Post and the Morshan Watch Post both getting their health reduced by one, uh, so they can more easily deal with them. They were relatively commonly played, so I, I understand that strong neutral cards should not necessarily be, uh, well, that strong. On the other hand, uh, the rogue that was running them, the watch post rogue, was one of the best decks against Paladin, besides Paladin. Um, so against the aggressive variety was actually the only deck with a positive win rate against it. Uh, that and actually, no, I think the Libra variety and the rogue, but yeah, the only non-Paladin deck that beats the aggressive secret Paladin is or was uh, the rogue, and now they've gutted the rogue by just taking out, well, Janus and the watch posts, and I think some of them are running Penflingers, maybe. Um, so that is somewhat worrying, but considering how important the sword and the Penflinger were for some of the paladins, this might still be good enough. And then we've got some changes to battlegrounds. Uh, yeah. Uh, Queen Wagtar goes back and now gives plus one plus one instead of plus two plus one, which I'm pretty sure is just the old stats. Uh, Captain Hook Tusk can now only, instead of discovering, only picks up one of two. Uh, Steward of Time has one less health, but gives plus one extra attack to the minions when you sell him, so he's more useful than what he's supposed to be doing, but less useful at not using him effectively. Uh, Pack Leader gets plus one attack, so does Monstrous Macaw, Herald of Flames, where it matters a bit more because he's an overkill. Um, Wildfire Elemental gets plus one extra health, which is a bit more impactful than one extra attack, I would say. Lieutenant Guard gets plus three attack, and Little Rag gets plus two plus two. Um, I would talk about this, but honestly, I don't really play Battlegrounds, so I don't have that much to say about it. Um, so, for duels, they made Ace in the Hole one more expensive, never played with it, can't say much about that. Uh, really, the troops now reduces the cost only by three, three rather than by five. Uh, let me tell you, this is a really good nerf. Um, that was insane. I have actually played with Rally the Troops and the Connection Zero Power for Rogue, which is now an activated Zero Power rather than automatically triggering for zero every turn. Um, yeah, those were both really good. Um, so that makes sense. For Arena, they made the class balance a bit more balanced, which is nice. And they removed the Watch Posts and Cargal Battle Scar. So. Maybe a bit more fun in, in Arena for the people that still play it. Honestly, I haven't played Arena in a while. Uh, various bug fixes. Um, I'm not going to go through all of those. Not the most interesting thing to talk about. Uh, what I will, however, point out is there was a quest that was supposed to be only doable as Warrior. Uh, sorry, an achievement that was only supposed to be doable as Warrior. And yeah. Uh, no, not that one achievement. Final Frontier. It'll take more than that. There we go. Uh, I actually got the first 
two levels of that achievement, uh, I think, from playing non-warrior. So, <laughs> I was very happy about it, because I wasn't playing a lot of warrior, but uh, obviously, this is a sensible fix. Uh, what people have been a bit more annoyed with is uh, this one. Fix the bug where players could reroll into the win 5 games of ranked play mode weekly quest after already completing it that week. Which is to say that if you completed the 2500 XP quest, you could then reroll one of your 1750 quests and get that back, uh, possibly, and in that way get up to 1500 extra XP per week, which was a consequence of them allowing you to reroll the 2500 quest. They just added it to the pool, basically. Um, I was expecting them to change it back and that that was just an accident, but I was hoping maybe they were gonna keep it this way. I think the XP track is still very doable as it is, but you know, a little bit of extra XP would have been nice nonetheless. Um, and yeah, that, that's all the news. Let me let me know what you thought. Um, let me know what decks you want to see now that the ladder is somewhat more playable, hopefully. And um, yeah, this is a like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Join the Discord, you've seen the banner in the beginning. And that's it.